Hello all you Pixel people, I am Pixel and welcome to EverQuest Next Landmark. I was going to show you the awesome house that I created on my amazing claim. However, due to a server bug, it has been basically deleted, so I just deleted the rest of it. And I decided instead, what I would do is give you guys a little bit of a guide slash tutorial on the selection tool. This tool is one that you need to craft at a crafting station, which you can find near the warp gates on each of the continents. And I cannot stress enough that you want to craft this as soon as possible. This is the most powerful tool that you can currently get in the alpha. And it will allow you to do almost everything that you ever wanted to do when it comes to building. So, first off, you can see that this was just a test that I did before recording this video, just to make sure that I'd got all the parts that I wanted to lock down. And now what we're going to do is show you the very basic how to actually create the selection tool box. So we've got it selected, and then we just point and click to drag. Obviously that's nowhere near big enough. And what we're gonna do first is look at these blue faces. So when we actually put our cursor over one of the faces, we actually get it to go blue, and then we can click and drag to make it bigger or smaller. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag over everything which is basically a mess that I've been making. So it's gonna be a huge box. Okay, and then pull it over this way just to cover all this stuff. Oops, pulled the whole thing. Okay, so that's covering that. It's not outside the claim box is it nope it's not which is all good so we then we so we, we know that we can pull the faces but if you pull these corners what happens is basically you pull from the corner so you get to pull up and down just gives you that little bit of uh, easy control a little bit quicker than pulling face by face so we're gonna cover this up completely and now what you can do is literally because it's like most creative apps on the PC you can just press the delete key and boom! Yeah, maybe that wasn't the greatest idea, but don't worry, because if you've ever used the heal tool, which actually just repairs the voxels to the original formation when the server was first created, you can actually now click on the selection box and heal it all back up like it's never been touched, back to the way it was when the server was first created. So, you can also do this with the add tool. Bang! I haven't got enough resources to make something that big, but what we'll do is, actually we want to flatten this out a bit so I can actually show you the creative tool. So we're gonna select the selection tool box again and pull it, and I'm gonna delete this. Okay, so we've got ourselves some nice flat land now. And then to get rid of the selection tool, I don't know the easiest way to do it, but I just tap escape and it goes. So now we've got some flat land to actually work with. And what some people don't realize is, what have I got selected here? I want to have dirt selected. Okay, so now we've got some dirt selected. What we can do is create a quick box. The arrows in the center are what you use to move it, so you can actually select each of these arrows individually, and then click and pull. So we want it above the floor. So you want it one down, there we go. And then what you can actually do is what people, a lot of people don't seem to realize this, is the selection tool can actually be used to create. So you can actually just click on the add tool and then click, click your selection. Bang, we've created a dirt block. So obviously this actually is a really powerful tool when you think that you can actually click away and click back on it. And let's, uh, what we're going to do is pull it out here so we can pull this and try and be careful because it's very fiddly at the moment but it does work really well so now we've got it all the way through here we can press delete we've created a tube a very square tube which is cool and click away and one thing I want to uh, basically warn you guys is when using this select tool I've not actually tested this I could be completely wrong but as you can see if I draw this line here that is 14 voxels and if I can pull this face let's get this corner 
15 voxels. Now, if I was actually to add this, you'd expect it just to take the one because there's already 14 voxels there. But what does it do? It does just take the one. So yeah, you don't have to be too careful about going on overlapping when you're creating. Obviously, what you do want to be careful about is that if we overlap and create with a different color, like so, select this we really need to we, yeah we, we're gonna need to pull this out a little bit more bang did it do it I have not tested this myself and this is actually quite an interesting little test no it doesn't it only changes the extruding blocks which means that you can actually get really detailed and actually create some really cool stuff with this without worrying too much but anyway what i want to do next is select this selection tool again let's shrink it down stick it here for now and what we're going to look at is the other functions of the uh, selection tool obviously it's a selection tool so you'd expect it to be able to select stuff right of course it can so we just grab this box. Now, if we press Control and C, in, the, in other words, copy, and then Control and V, bang, we've got this, which is cool because now we can just place this anywhere, and we've got a carbon copy of what we just selected exactly. Be careful if you do select something which has got empty space. I'll actually show you this as an example. Okay, so let's. Uh, this has got empty space, remember, and it does del delete whatever was inside the empty space. So uh, when you actually get in your selections, be careful that you're not selecting stuff with holes in it if you don't want holes to actually show up on the finished product. But all that works. So now what else can we do? So we got the copy and paste thing selected. If we press tab, we can wait, shift tab. We can get it to rotate. And then press tab again, get it to rotate the other way. Tab again, rotate the other way. And if we press shift and tab again, we get to get the arrows, we get some fine adjustments on the uh, movement of this thing. And we can do this, do this, do this. There we go, we've created something really basic, but that's not all it can be used for. Let's try and grab all this stuff now. So, all the way down here. And because it is quite fiddly, what we're actually going to do is just work on getting the box generally in the right area. Then we'll we'll drag it all individually. It's, it's a lot faster this way. Okay, so we've selected all these. Obviously, we could copy and paste them, which is great. But what we're actually going to do is now click where you normally select your materials and stuff and go to the templates at the bottom and click create new. Then we can name it. We'll call it triple box and click okay. And now when we totally de deselect everything and then go to our templates, unknown, triple box, place, we can actually place this in the world with the same kind of controls and its movement as what we had before. So as you can see, it's really high up here. We want to, we can rotate it still. We want to shift tab and then tab and pull it down to the earth and pull it towards us. And then there has been some issues on this server. So I don't know if it's going to allow me to place it, but normally this would work flawlessly. And yes, it's allowed me to place. So this is a way that you can actually save some basically schematics that you want to be building on a regular basis, be it pillars for houses or a window box or walls themselves or any anything which is kind of complex or even things that aren't that complex, but you're going to be using an awful lot. This is the easiest way to actually just develop them really quickly. Like, can we paste this outside in the world? No. So I haven't got permissions to place it outside of the world, but in my claim... 
I can place my templates, which is pretty cool. I think the reason for you not being able to place templates around the world is because with dirt being so easily and readily available, as you can see with what we've just created here, we could quite easily make a massive swear word and paste it and just paste it everywhere because you get a lot of dirt for very little work. But we're slowly going to get there, guys. Um, I I'm really enjoying this. And I if this video has helped you out, don't forget to slap that subscribe button for some more PC gaming and EverQuest Next Landmark Gaming goodness. And as always, like the video if you like the video. I am Pixel. I hope this has helped you out a little bit. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section and I will try and do a video on that next. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye-bye.